having a bit of a fiddle around today. I have here black and yellow and white. So let's try black and yellow. I've done it before and it turned out okay, but I can't remember a lot. The yellow is, it's a bit of a lemon yellow. I prefer a very lemon yellow, but I couldn't get one. So I've got a yellow that is, oh, it's sort of halfway between a warm and a cool yellow. A warm yellow looks like an orange and a cool yellow looks like a lemon colour. So uh, remember that. And I've got a piece of canvas, I'm not fussy about the size. In fact, I haven't taped it off. So quite often when you're painting a picture and you've got a good sized piece of canvas, there's no need to tape it off because you can do what you want and then decide the piece you want and cut that out or tape it off or fold it over a frame or something. Okay, so let's get started. Of course, we usually have a sky that's from dark to light and uh, I don't know what I'm going to paint. I haven't thought about it, but uh, it's going to be yellow and black. Brushes running out of the dark paint, which is good because we don't want it all the same colour across the top. About like that. Oh, maybe I put too much dark on the brush then. The yellow never come out. Maybe it's not very strong. Oh yeah, there's a bit of, a bit of green there. A bit of green coming in, and the, the black colour is taken over. See, let's see what happens here. Okay. Uh, it's not really turning green, is it? Not yet. Try a bit more paint. No, not green. Well, let's try the white and the yellow. See what happens there. Yellow. Uh huh. Nope. Well, we're going to have to go white here anyway because I do want the white in the bottom of the sky to give us something to look at. No, not cream, and that's better, more white paint, and uh, I'll use the colours underneath, the colours that are there already, and the white, and I'm not mixing any colours over there on the palette, I mix them on the painting. Oh, we've got an active sky anyway, that's a start, I'll put plenty of white in the bottom of the sky. Okay, and white over there. Now, we'll get a little bit of yellow happening there, see what happens. And that side, yeah, there we go. Well, when you're careful, you can get the yellow and the white to come together without going muddy. That's okay. Okay, now, get this guy moving. That's an easy way to do a sky, then you don't have any faults, as long as you've got your white there. Well, let's have a bit of sunlight coming out from underneath somewhere. Something fancy. Oh, muck it around. Too fragile to be mucking around with paint on my hands. Round hog bristle brush. It is sticky stuff everywhere. And some trees. Paler if we can. Pale, 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 pale. That's trees in the background. I don't know what it's going to be. We'll make it up. And, and you see I'm still keeping my trees low. I'm keeping them low. Just lock in where there's no paint. Put a bit extra here. I'm very lazy. And as I add the yellow, yeah, it goes green. Now, that acrylic paint dries quick. Sometimes it dries quicker than what you want, but it's a bit humid here today and it's not driving, drying too quick. Get it clean a bit. Yeah, just so you can just see the trees in the distance. We'll straighten them up a bit. That's the distant trees. Okay. That's more like a long, long way away. Maybe they come closer here, so I'll cut that in against them. A bit bigger, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we have to find ground level. Ground level's about there, I'd say. Yeah. 
fill it in. It's going to be interesting to see what it ends up like. This is just a quick one, just to keep me going so I'm not too lazy. Otherwise I don't make movie for years sometimes. But if I keep going now, I'll get into the swing and I'll start producing what people want. Okay, more white needed in the background. We definitely need that white in the background. This yellow is not performing as good as I'd like. I wish it was a more lemony yellow. And it might. Even with a fan brush. Oh, this is going to be good. It'll give nice big grass, I'd say. Let's have some more dark here. Some more black. Yeah, that gives good perspective, see? It makes look background look a lot further away. Okay. There. That's easy to do with an old fan brush. Okay. Oh, we could have a cottage there and a tree there. Okay, let's go for it. Tree, dark, light, and a bit of, a bit of yellow. Tree, okay, tree, you. Wipe my knife, clean. You must wipe the knife clean, otherwise you get nothing on your second one. Um, tree there. Uh, uh, okay, we'll have this tree sloping that way. Ooh, this is a good looking tree. Tree there. And I'll get the butt of this tree nice and dark to give you a very dark corner. And that, that makes the distant trees look further away. Let's scratch a few little branches in them. Not a lot. And here, a little bit more to find. You can paint them with a little brush if you want to do it neatly, but at that distance you don't need detail. But what I would like, and I haven't got still, is this white line. You watch how this white line attracts your eye. See that? It's nothing. It's just a bit of white paint there. But it does attract your eyes to that area. Rather like over here, your eyes not attracted to it, but there it is. Okay, little hairbrush. I'll just use the black paint. I'll turn that into a branch. Branch there. Something like this up here. Hold the brush loosely and just let the tree happen. Let it let it happen how it wants to be. There. And, but then also try and bring it into the picture so when you look up the tree, your eye is attracted back into the picture if you can and have branches crossing. It's easy to paint a tree with no branches crossing. Looks a bit odd. There. Uh, this one here I'll fill in this mess there and let's have a bit more detail down that tree so we can see it a bit clearer I'm rolling that off the edge of the brush as I bring the brush down I turn it and the paint comes off the edge there and here good for you who are learning is just practice without getting too worried about what it looks like because you have to teach yourself two things how to put the paint on and where to put the paint on. It's not just a matter of a gift or a skill, it's an acquired practice, an acquired skill. And give yourself time to learn to use the tools. Otherwise, your mind is thinking about how to do it instead of where to put the paint. That looks okay for a minute. I think I'll have a little house for some reason. The brush is okay. Okay, let's put a house here. We don't want to cover all our trees over, we'll put it in there. Oh, this brush is stiff, it's had it. It makes a good house. Uh, and the roof. There. Now, a bit of detail on that, it'll look like a house. I think it needs the walls blocked in a bit better. Yeah. Put a green on the roof. Not too bad. It's only a bush art. It's my place. Okay. There. Like that. Bit of detail on the roof and down there. 
doesn't have to be detailed every bit. That's just a bit of the roof, a bit of roof down here, across there, out there. Well, that's a rough old joint, isn't it? Across the top of the water tank. Now, soon I'll get all the colours together and we'll do a nice painting. We'll take our time and do a nice painting, but at the moment, just a matter of getting back into it. I haven't been painting for years. The little flowers around there might make it look better. I'll put a frame around it later and you'll see what it looks like. It's just a Oh, what are they called? A virtual frame. A virtual frame. Yeah. yeah. We'll have a virtual frame. Nice little flowers. Okay. All over the place. A uh, little bit more yellow on the roof. And the water tank. I'm not going to muck around with it. I could try and make it really, really good. Let's do some foliage. Mm, see that black's strong, it's doing pretty good. The other colours are fading out a bit. The yellow's not very strong. But the black's hanging in there. Very good. Okay, tree. And up to there, down to there. Scratch a hole in it. Yeah, that looks like a fence post. And, and another one back here. Wire. See, we've got a bit of paint left. A bit of wire on the fence. That house just needs a little bit of a break here just to bring it forward from the background. That's all. Across the top of the roof. Aha! Of course, we're going to have a bird. Just to stop your eye wandering off the picture, we'll have put a bird in there. And another one in the distance. Yeah, that's something different. about the video lessons on flash drive. The purpose of this video is to teach a particular method of painting Australian landscapes in oil. The technique I'm about to show you may conflict with traditional methods you may have already learnt. If you have learnt traditional oil painting, I suggest that you follow my instructions entirely and do not try to combine what you have previously learnt with what I'm about to show you. I started making videos in about 1980. On the flash drive is copies of my earlier videos and all the follow-up videos. 70 lessons from start to finish, all about paints and brushes. The lessons are arranged in such a way that you progress, you learn as you go through them. You can start with the last one if you wish, but you'll probably need to come back to the first one and practice your brush strokes. You'll find them on my website, paintwithlen.com. $54 posted to anywhere in the world. Thank you. Hope to see you soon on another video. Bye-bye.